We're going to work today on the last remaining maintenance items. So we've got some coolant to put back in, engine oil, we've got some filters that I want to show you that need to be changed on the truck, including a couple that people tend to miss. Let's take a look at the maintenance that Kevin's going to do today. Kevin's reattaching the coolant hose at the bottom of the radiator now so that we can get that coolant in. One of the preventative maintenance filters I find that people tend to miss doing is the coolant filter. Since we're putting in new coolant, we're going to make sure this gets replaced as well. There's two fuel filters we need to take care of. There's the centrifugal one that Kevin's removing now. Looks like this. And there's also, on the driver's side, a cartridge style filter that will change out as well. <laughs> the other fuel filter we're gonna be replacing is found down in there. Kevin would like to politely remind you guys, don't put filters on too tight, because someone else has to take them off later. There's a whole bunch of video that I couldn't use from the last 10 minutes. Right, Kevin? Yeah. I gotta get this, because I'm gonna need a freaking snipe to get the freaking filter off. So this wasn't enough leverage to get the filter off. This wasn't enough leverage to get the filter off. Kevin's got a wrench under there and a snipe trying to push this off now. Remember to fill your replacement fuel filter with diesel first before you put it on. I used to work at a dealership and uh, when I worked there I used to do a lot of oil changes, fuel filters, oil filters, coolant filters, everything. One trick I learned is when you're doing it, your hands oftentimes get covered in everything. Oil, grease, fuel, coolant, everything. They get slippery. It's hard to take your filter, turn it in, without it slipping off your hands. So I found the best way to get around that is four drive. Just take your hands, scoop some up. Give it a good rub on your hands a couple times. Get them right covered. And all of a sudden you've got grip on your hands again. I was asking Greg, I said, have you ever seen one of these on the side of the highway? In the middle of the road? And I said no. Falling I haven't. off a truck. You'll never see one falling off a truck. So folks, put away your torque wrenches. You do not have to tighten these things down until they're just about ready to pop. They even have a little instruction manual on the side. It says hand tight three quarters of a turn. That's all you need to tighten these things down. And then they're never coming off the truck. They won't leak, they'll never come off the truck. They got this nice big O-ring up here. You don't have to tighten them down until you're just about ready to burst a blood vessel. It's <laughs> not that difficult. Do, do, do you feel better now, Kevin, having taught everyone? I, I feel a little bit better sharing okay. that information right, with good. everybody, you know. We're going to replace the oil filters next. There's three of them. There are two primary oil filters. These are all in a row, just behind the frame rail. Two primary oil filters and one bypass lube filter. 
So Kevin uh, has been ranting here for the last hour. He wants to show you the three oil filters. They followed the same trend. Every one of those has been caved in because he had to put a, not only a wrench on it, but a two-foot snipe to be able to pull the filters off. So uh, there I'm, I'm recording it for posterity's sake so that Kevin feels better. Now he's going to put them on. Put the new ones on. Engine oil has been drained, the oil filters have been pulled off uh, with much swearing, new ones put on, and now we're going to replace the oil with 100% synthetic. And here's what we're going to be using for that engine oil fill. Uh, Lucas makes a good synthetic product, and it's a 1540, of course, for use in a diesel engine.